Covering southeast Georgia now, crews have started cutting the next section of the Golden Ray. The ship has been capsized in the St. Simon Sound since September of 2019. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller spoke with a St. Simon's Island native about the impacts the removal has had on that area. This is the start of the fifth of seven total cuts of the removal process. The Golden Ray is kind of worn out as welcome here. Andy Jones is a St. Simons Island native. He brings these snapshots of the removal process on his YouTube page, The Menorcan Mullet, during his daily rides to see the Golden Ray. Let people understand what it really takes and actually the sacrifices that has to be made by the community while something like this is going on. Those sacrifices, the pollution and debris. Jones says it's a massive operation from the machinery and manpower. The process has taken a little longer than it was originally pitched. The community was kind of sold on a 24 hour per cut deal um, that they were going to get through it. And we've just seen that that just really was not the case at all. Approaching the two year mark in September, the operations have been filled with delays. It's been a spectacle. Jones says it's even driven tourism. What has been the most fascinating part for you to see. To me, the most amazing part is when these sections are lifted and placed on the barges and moved away from the site. And just to see that huge piece separated. The latest section left Brunswick earlier in the week to head to a recycling plant in Louisiana, meaning half the ship has officially left the sound for good. Once it's all gone, there will still be work that needs to be done. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.